Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Focus Academy Solution. And if you're first time watching my YouTube video, can you click the subscribe button and press the bell for more notification. So today we're talking about the 2023 YF Physics Examination. Y2023 Physics Specimen Part 1. For Part 1 question, we're using the material, the knife edge, a piece of string, a weighing balance, and a set of masses of 20 grams 40 grams 60 grams 80 and 100 grams so past question like a question we can find this specimen given to us we can find this question in y june 2009 physics particle and we can as well find it in y 2021 physics particle so this diagram explains how the particle gonna look like so we have to it us done with a thread and a material you are provided with a with two material and other necessary apparatus. Place material on the knife edge so to get the center of gravity. So we point that as point C. So after that, we have to fix an under mass of gun at the center of gravity. And after that, so we set up our two little stands and we measure our thread for 40 centimeters as initial to the boat end to the right as at the left hand side of the metal. So that will be shown in the next video now material to be used so i have my knife edge with me so i have my metal of 100 centimeters so i have two little stand with clamp and i have my masses my knife edge with my metal so i will have to get the center of gravity from this metal that is on um, red balance so at least i can assume that the center of gravity will be at 50 centimeters so let's try something out guys Alright, so at this point, at this point, let me adjust a little bit to know the right center of gravity. Okay, the center of gravity of this material is at 50 centimeters. So that's what I'll be using. I'll be fixing my 100 gram of mass here firmly. Be fixing a 100 gram of mass firmly to the center of gravity. That will have my C. After I've done that, so I will have my two little stands set side by side. So my two little stands will set side by side. So I'll be measuring a 40 centimeter of this metal of this thread here. 40 centimeter, I can do that using my metal. Uh, Alright, this is the result we'll be getting when we follow the instruction given in the question above. So we are going to clamp our two little stand and we measure 40 centimeters of the thread to each side of the uh little stand and we find out our metal is oscillating to and the string is attached to 10 centimeters of the metal and on the other hand to so we have on the fixed mass 100 at the center of gravity of the metal and the other hand we have on the string attached to 90 centimeter of the metal okay so this are we are going to have the practical so we are going to measure 40 centimeter of this length on 10 centimeter on the metal and the other hand so we measure what 40 centimeter to and on 90 centimeter on the metal so we have a fixed mass at the center of gravity that's 100 so the next thing we do now is all to oscillate this we oscillate it and we on our what stopwatch to record it for 20 oscillations so we record two and four one two and four two two and four three two and four four for 20 oscillations let it two and four we read for 20 different oscillation so after we are written that down so we measure another word length for the thread for another 50 centimeter so we oscillate so we do that four times we do for 50 we do for 60 70 and 80 for the same experiment okay guys i said for the experiment we are having so the instruction in the question we have said that we should measure the right on uh, the side of the meter i mean the thread for 
40 centimeter on 10 centimeter on the meter rule and under 40 centimeter on 90 of the meter so we oscillate for 20 oscillation so we have for this for the first 40 centimeter we have 15 seconds so after that we adjust the thread again to 50 we have 70 seconds we adjust again to 60 we have 90 seconds we adjust again to 70 we have 21 seconds we adjust again to 80 centimeter for the thread so we have under 20.0 seconds for the time so the next thing we are going to do is that to find the period of the oscillation and the formula for period say time taken equals to what and period equals to time taken all over what the number of oscillation that we took that's 20 oscillation so we will be having 15 all over 20 17 all over 20 19 over 20 21 over 20 and 20 all over 20.